I'm Kesevo. Mantiko Danvad. Hey everyone, new name here, playing my favorite game, Watcher of Realms. Just finishing off a, one of many autos I've been doing on the uh, Oracle trial for Gear A3. Hopefully an ancient would fall and I could show you the wonderful animation difference of the ancient item. What I will show you though, is what making sure you've followed the storyline can do for you. And it pertains to beating one of the stage tens, which was Esotericist faction trials today. I don't have two healers. I don't even have one healer for Esotericist, so I can't three star it. But I two star stage ten Eso faction trials without a healer. And it's funny because I just watched Fastidious's upload about the mage's artifacts and his loathe for the title ring. Ooh, this could be good. Uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. If that was like attack speed, I'd be very happy about that. Let's take a quick look in here. There's a drill with her soulbound arcana set doing some work. So I'm not saying that the title ring is good or bad. What I am saying though is, is that it allowed this account to progress somewhere where I don't think it normally could have. Okay. So if we go into the faction trial here, you'll see I've got 205 stars. I don't have a defender for the esotericist and I don't have two healers. Otherwise, I would have potential if I could get nine more stars on Infernal and I just six starred a couple people like Pyros, I can get this divine within 50 days. That would be huge. I don't have any turns left. I wish I did, but I obviously I don't. And you can see it says to play two healers. I don't have any. And up here it says a defender. But what's important is, is that on the very first tile, if you're familiar with this, stage 10, 11, and 12 of Esotericist, is I put my Raiden down first. And I had to give this massive uh, tier of Twilight artifact that's normally uncommon. I put this bad boy on my Raiden. So you can see how many tier of Twilights that I have. Uh, one. And I have two title rings, and one of them's on Nazim. And you might be like, why are you telling us about this stuff? So, the title ring. Forget the increases damage. It's the opportunity to slow. And when you couple that with how slow some of the big two-handed mobs already move in that stage, with the fact that the two like uh, lightning squares that I put my raid in on, as soon as they use an ultimate, and it'll bring a lightning shot down on every enemy on the stage and stun them. So if you have them slowed, you can keep them out there for an extra stun potential. And Raiden has an automatic ultimate. So you use a certain hero, Jankar, who I just five-starred. So he causes a curse when he blocks. So that means those rage-sapping mages that come out from the right middle lane, they can't do anything if he's blocking them for five seconds, okay? So... When you're slowing them as well, it gives you a chance, since I don't have a healer and I don't have a tank, you can imagine. I'm going to show you actually my roster. That would help, I think, explain this a little bit here. But you, you can imagine not having, a, well, that's what's going on, not having any defender or healer. You think like, yeah, Comet's a big carry or whatever. But you try to use this lineup to get two stars on stage 10 of Esotericist. And it's not about battle power because they're only like 380 battle power total. What really helped was the title ring. I wish I recorded it. I will the next week that it cycles through. But a hero like Nazim, okay, why the title ring is put on him is not only does he do an extra 30% damage to cursed enemies. So I would block enemies with right here for five seconds. They get a curse from Jankar. So Nazim would be beating on them getting 30% additional damage. But when he uses his ultimate, he's going to stun them for half a second. So while they're being stunned, and then they have a curse and stun, they're also getting stun zapped whenever Comet uses his ultimate, which I can cause to happen more often because of the Laurel cycle. And that's why I put on the title ring. It's a, obviously the best mage artifact that I've had anyways for being unupgraded for the base stat boost. But this slow kept the enemies that already move slow. Now it looks like, like they're like, like super slow motion. I'm not good at acting miming like that, but you understand. So the fight actually can last like 
25% longer than it, it should because they're always being stunned. They're always being stunned because of the ultimates of Comet and Raiden. And then they're being slowed. And the guys that sap the rage on the right side aren't because they're either focused on Jankar being cursed by him or they're being stunned and extra damaged by Nazim. Okay? I'm going to show you for sure the next uh, the next week, but there's only two six-star heroes here. No healer, no defender. Two stars. I'm a huge fan, and you're going to see why here, for the Hyperion as quick as you can. What day is today? I think today is day 43, just to make sure I forgot to say that. Okay, so on day 43, level 128 Pantheon bonus. If I can get on there, 128. And if you start looking at these stats over here, man, a 20% rage regen on any hero deployed anywhere in this game, that's pretty big. That HP bonus of 15%, that makes a difference. And you really start noticing everything past, you know, 5% attack bonus. It, you might think it's negligible, but eventually you're going to get that to 10%. And then 12%, you'd be like, whoa, I haven't upgraded anything in a week, but I'm hitting harder. This is huge, man. I struggled in the beginning of this game to do what you've seen me do in 43 days on a free-to-play account. And I spent like $70 in the first two days on the original account, but I didn't have a clue how to play the game. Part of playing this game correctly is trying to get as much of you as you can out of one of the best stages in the game, which is gear rate 3, 19 and up. So I'm not trying to win first place because of first place. I want these summoning crystals for the banner that's coming up. I also want the sets and i don't have special sets yet on any of these heroes i just put together if you saw yesterday's upload this on idril it's only got 66 percent crit but she's able to farm gear a319 for me so eventually actually i should try to roll this uh this ring up here with you just for the fun of it. so i'll show you i'm going to roll it to 12 immediately okay and hopefully that crit in the attack roll in the purples come on now come on now that's not good. I needed that crit rate to get up to like this area here. It's still usable because of the attack bonus thing, but I don't know if I'd ever roll that to 16. And I'm not going to use a hammer on it. So I forgot to show you as well, but the stress that I always put on the corridor of glory, and you'd be like, yeah, everybody can talk smack about, you know, how important it is. I'm done. If you look up here, it's been live for 11 hours. I'm done. I prepped early. And I promoted like six or seven heroes today all the way to max. And that's what matters is your star ups and your promotions. You start looking here at all these six star heroes. They're all max promoted. Okay. I didn't promote this uh, ass whore because he's terrible anyways. But I've now got my six star Paris. He's going to be ready to go for the guild boss shortly. Problem is I only have Imani. I don't have any other Infernals. So it doesn't really make sense to try to make an infernal roster yet. So I'm going to collect this quest right now. And that's pretty much it for the upload. I just thought I would share, you know, the in between whatever's going on. I forget what we have coming shortly here. The uh, the crazy invocation is a normal thing, you know, but this uh, special invocation of spirits. I have a constant and I have an A1 alert. I'm not hunting for them. I'm hunting for hollow. If I can have a hollow and a vortex, that's big news, man. I need a rage generator besides Laurel Cycle so I can get gear rate 320, hopefully in the next two weeks. I don't want to be past day 60 doing stage 20 of gear rate 3. If you follow along with this series, you will succeed and you will be fast. You might not be efficient, but you're going to get to a nice part of the game real quick. And that's where this account is. It's, it's in the middle of mid-game. And again, to show you in the uh, faction trials, free to play account, day 43, 205 stars, day 43, guys. This was new name playing my favorite game, Watcher of Realms. Take care, everyone.